you know, I grew up in the Bronx, which is a, at the time was a real borough of immigrants and, uh, and quite rough. And my father taught me how to defend myself because there were gangs that roamed the streets. And, you know, I was part of a gang too, but we were more sportive rather than out to maim and rob. <laughs> but he taught me how to take care of myself. And, and he, was a, he was a champion boxer in, a, in an amateur way. And, and he always said to me, people are going to telegraph what they're going to do. You just have to know how to look at them to see what they're going to do. He said, so pay attention. And that kind of, of um, encouragement to a young boy to pay attention, the world is going to tell you about itself, was a kind of astonishing piece of news for me. And although I learned how to box and protect myself and look for an opening, really what my father was telling me was, if you look at the world, you're going to see things that um, you have an innate understanding of, and they will validate your understanding, and you will, over time, learn to find the harmony between your inner thoughts about what might be happening and the actuality of what does happen. And I, I, I think this is just a human characteristic, but because I must have had a latent art leaning, when my turn came to find an art form, photography spoke to me more powerfully than any other form. Even though I had studied painting and art history and, and had a degree in it, I gave it up in favor of photography because the immediacy of photography, the fact that you observed something in the process of unfolding and it, it connected to an interior monologue that you're running or, or an interior sense of rightness. And you know, one can't um, too easily put aside this um, harmony of feeling and observation because it's that alignment that validates again and again your sense of where you need to be in space, when you need to raise the camera to your eye. All of this, I believe, is part of how we form our identity. And identity isn't just internalized, it's your artistic identity too. It's your sense of humor and your appreciation of the world and your genuine emotion about other human beings or feelings about space. So my innocent pop's commentary went in much deeper. And, and I think it's wonderful about parents and children is we do get really good advice from our parents, but we don't always know <laughs> when it's coming and how we're going to use it later on. So I. I thank my pop for his uh, for his generosity, really.